I wanted to show you how you would be working with uh, Cobalt Touch Objective C Box 2D physics wrapper stuff. So um, I've already set up the uh, physics controller here in the scene, and um, I give it some gravity. Not sure why. I actually don't need it. Um, constraint to world window just creates a box around the window or screen size, so nothing falls out. And I also added the physics debug view controller, which is basically a wrapper around GLS, um, what's it called? GLS debug renderer or something like that. So in order to create a body in um, Cobalt Touch's physics, you would first need a KT physics body model. Body model equals KT physics body model, physics body model. Neatly, I'm in the scene view controller. The scene view controller or KT scene view controller class has a reference to the physics controller um, if you added one, otherwise, this will be nil. Um, should you be in any other class, um, you can very quickly get the physics controller by going through the scene view controller and get the physics controller from there. So, very easy to access. The body model contains a KT physics body, which is the actual wrapper for the um, Box2D body. And let me just get that. Physics body. So at this point, um, the body or the underlying Box2D body hasn't been created yet. Still, you're going to use the um, body properties um, before and after initialization, initialization just the same. Um, first, we need the contact delegate because we can't want um, collision responses. I already set this up, so I'm setting this to self here. And let's also set some body properties like position. Good one. CG point. Oh, make. Um, let's use 150, 40. Notice anything? Well, actually, I haven't done any pixels to meter conversion here because it's not necessary. The um, Cobalt Touch physics wrapper uses points as coordinates. And um, in case you wanted to or needed to, um, you can also always go through the physics controller and change the pixels to meter ratio. The default is 32, and I think that's just fine for most um, applications applications uh, sure you're making games of course um, um let's do the linear velocity change that um the g point make uh, zero five some upwards motion and um well, that's about it for you you get the picture um now of course um a body in itself isn't enough you also need a fixture, and that fixture also needs a shape. So let's start with the shape, which is a KT physics shape, obviously. Um, and we have several options for shapes. There could be polygon shapes, circle shapes, rectangle shapes. Um, let's use a circle shape in this instance and give it a radius. Well, let's use, I don't know, 22. And then let's create the physics fixture, um, which is always initialized with a shape. There cannot be a fixture without a shape. So we have to specify that during creation, um, which means fixture with body. Oops, body, of course, is the body. And shape is, of course, the shape. Oh, wait, no, I'm confused. Uh, I take that back. No, actually, the body has a function method that creates a fixture fixture with a shape, and I wanted to use that. You can also create uh, fixtures, bodies, shapes, etc., completely um, separate from uh, well models and all the other Cobalt Touch stuff, and that works just as well. So basically, you can have a body that's in the physics world but has no visual res representation or doesn't do anything. This is useful, for example, for static shapes or 
yeah, well, any collision shape. So now that we have the fixture, um, we can, hmm, for example, set the restitution, give it some extra bounce every time it uh, collides. And speaking of collisions, um, you know there's a uh, contact filter category bits stuff. You know that's some, you know, bit stuff. Um, you've probably seen it like this. Oops. Um, which is very helpful. <laughs> or in in some instances you may need to I don't know do stuff like this and uh, to clear a bit which also requires you to etc etc you get the picture it's just it's just plain awkward so um, let's use the um, actual named categories um, here let's just set it to a contact category use any string and now what does this do setting the contact cat category with a name um, does the following first um, uh, it checks if the uh, if there's a bit uh, named icon already used and if so it returns that specific bit you don't really need to know which bit it is it's just um, you can be certain that it's always the same bit and if not it creates a new bit um, you can act you can use up to um, 16 because box 2d doesn't allow for more um, so if you happen to be using more you'll get a warning but um, that hopefully should be rare um, so you can uh, just set the contact category and in some other uh, fixture you could set the contact category like cloud whatever and use that um, and you can also use um, this for example um, the uh, contact category mask let's check this out fixture uh, contact filter contact filter mask bits this is usually set to um, allow collision with all uh, the categories and again it's uh, awkward to clear out individual bits and, and knowing what each individual knowing what each individual bit actually does. Um, so again here you can use a named category and do for example disable collision with category um, clouds. So the icon can never collide with any other fixture that, ha that has its contact category set to clouds. Very simple, very effective just like it should be and um, here actually we I wanted to set it to um, disable collision with category um, a very specific category no icon tagged no icon contact so we'll need this later on for collisions okay so um, basically you could use more um, properties and, and change the properties of the body the fixture etc um, but um, in this case we're done here. So what's uh, left to do now is um, just to connect the parts. Um, we have the, mod the model, um, which is a physics model. Um, so uh, we also need a view and um, both model and view need to be hosted in a controller. So um, let's start with the view. View to a kill. Sprite uh, Mm. We have the file obviously not CG image. I can just use something we have available here. And now we have a model, we have a sprite, the view. And now let's create the controller. View controller, just a basic view controller. Um, let's name it we see KT view controller controller. Up, up, up. Controller, I said controller. Damn it. We see now. Um, next thing is, of course, um, the root node will be the icon sprite. This will be our view. Um, the uh, model is, of course, our body model, which drives the animation of the view. So, um, if you wanted to, you could use a label here or a particle effect or whatever you like. And um, finally, 
let's just add this uh, view controller to our controller hierarchy. And if we run this now, cool things ought to happen. Now we have a mounting sprite that goes up and up and up. I have the collision contacts implemented here, which is um, very similar to what you know from Box2D, begin contact, um, which is always the first for a certain contact to be called and pre-solve, which you can use to, um, for example, uh, disallow contact for that or disable a very specific contact. Um, Post-solve contact, of course, um, with impulses and end contact. And what I'm doing is at the begin contact, I color the sprite red, and at the end contact, I color it white. So just to see that there's a collision response. And um, I, in addition, at the begin contact, I check if the y coordinate of the um, uh, body model is above a certain point, and that just changes the uh, velocities. And it also changes the filter label string because I um, use the body, in this case, the KD physics body, to get the fixtures in any object because there's just one fixture here. I can just use any object. You know this probably from um, UI touches. And then I just enable collision with category. So this particular body at the bottom, this label, can now collide with the um, icon ball. So I hope you like this quick tutorial. Um, and I hope I was able to show you why Objective-C physics are just stuff of your dreams. <laughs> okay, thank you for watching.